Family pictures are a beautiful way to decorate, but they are sometimes, um, well, they start to get looking a little bit cluttered. So today we have an easy and an inexpensive way to create a picture perfect shelf. Take a look. We're going to make some picture shelves today, and we're going to make them out of crown molding. And you are going to be able to do this project, Stephanie. Okay, I'm already a little intimidated because I've got this big thing here. Well, the good news is this is my saw, and this will be your this saw. This is my saw. Okay, and okay. we're still going to be very careful with this. Now, we did this in our family room. We got tons of family pictures. I have three kids. We did three different lengths. I made a five foot, I made a four foot, and I made a three foot. Staggered them on the wall put a bunch of pictures, and it basically took up the whole wall. Ooh, I it's love that idea. Wonderful, wonderful. So, another nice thing about this, no nails. I'm doing this all with glue, so we're gonna cut, and we're gonna glue, and we're gonna put it together, kind of like a popsicle stick house. And these are our supplies right here. All this, is, this is all that we need. We've got our glue, we've got, of course, pencils. This is the material. This is an MDF crown molding. It costs about a dollar a foot. So don't be afraid to practice and make a few mistakes because it's relatively inexpensive. And then we've got a little masking tape to hold things together and my handy dandy sanding block here. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a little tape take and this. get that one. I'll take this one. And it's just, not for my mouth in this case, <laughs> as tempting as it may be. Not yet. All right, so we'll put this right like that. All right. And just make a little tab there. And now we're going to glue our pieces. It's very important when you glue a project to glue both ends. Now, don't worry about the glue gushing out because it's going to gush out. We can wipe it up a little bit. Yeah, just push it on there, there you go. Yeah, just put it on there and wrap the tape around there and we can adjust that in a second. Once this dries, we can sand it, we can do a little filling, we can make that look just nice, put a little paint on it, nobody's gonna do the difference. Let it sit for about three hours, four okay. hours, okay? So we take this guy off. Now, reach over there and grab me my bag o clamps. Okay. Okay. And this is our top piece. You see how this is going to sit on there? Oh, all right. So we want right. to glue the top edge of this. All right, I can do that. And you get a little messy, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to set this on here. Now, you can clamp this. I have these clamps, and I would run this all over. But between you and me, Steph, you can take this, give it a good squeeze. If you let this set up like this, you're probably just going to be good. fine. And just get this extra glue off of there, OK? And once that sets up, you're finished. That's it? Little, little touch up on the edges, put some paint on it, and you are good to go. And that's what she looks like. Now, for the beginners, instead of doing my fancy compound miter on the saw, we're going to do a simple bevel, just like that. Just on straight. It's, it's straight with a bevel. With a tiny exactly. little angle. Yeah. OK. And we can do this with a handsaw. OK. This is called a miter box. This is about 4 or $5. I've screwed it to a piece of wood and clamped it to the table so it doesn't move. We take our piece of material, we set it in there, and there is your bevel. And so this, and so this would go up against another one right. like this. Exactly. So you'll cut just a shorter version for your returns, we call those, or ears. And there you go. There we go. 25 bucks, and you've added something entirely new to your home. And when someone comes over, you can say, I've done it myself. I've done it myself. There you go.